is a Bramble Jam podcast. <laughs> Hi, I'm it's unbelievable. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark spring movies that feels like a winter movie. Hey, it's Panda. I like Hallmark spring movies that feel like winter movies. I'm Dan. I despise them all. Doesn't really matter, but this one in particular had a special despise about it for sure. And, <laughs> and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. New set who it is? Yeah. Like half a new set yeah, who it is? Kind of a new set. Do you guys have you guys uh, ever tried to build a new set in the day of COVID? It's hard because everything everything gets pushed back. It's like you it's know, like it's gonna, everything's going to be here Thursday. We'll ship it tomorrow. Psych. May. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. So we'll see what happens. So we've got I've been like working on psych for a, new, a while to bring it back. What do you guys think? I loved it, it good? and it felt natural. Was it good? Good. Good. We've Glad. got a new rug. Glad. A new yeah. rug. Yeah. Accent rug. Uh we've got uh this table. This table is Something. sturdy. Yeah. It's sturdy, boys. For sure. And really this is all an excuse to get Dan to wear jeans. That's right. I no longer can wear shorts or joggers, and it feels wrong. You can still wear joggers. I can wear joggers. You're right. You're, 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 you're mixtape joggers? Mixed absolutely. Joggers. Bring it. How come you can't wear shorts? You can wear you can. shorts. Somebody you can. Ones, you can 100%. You're still good. Yeah. My calf muscles are a sight. Oh, my old. gosh. Oh, yeah. They're that phenomenal. Yeah, they change you. our rating to TVPG. Yeah. <laughs> that fair. Alone. Fair. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, guys. How was your weekend? Uh, it was, it was, can I say it? Sure. Spicy. 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 You had a spicy Easter. Yeah, it was a spicy Easter. <laughs> what, top 10. What did the Easter bunny bring you? Top 10 Easter or top 10 weekend? Uh, top 10 Easter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Nothing. Uh, the Easter bunny brought you nothing? Not a thing. To but, be fair, but after it was 80 Easters, top 10 is pretty good. <laughs> 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 it should have seen it coming. I'm just um, trying my best here. What You know, like Santa has coal that he brings bad the bad boys. What does Easter bunny got? Rabbit droppings. <laughs> he, he puts takes turds. a poop <laughs> in an egg and says, here you go, kiddo. You open it up. Find this. Here's some E. coli coming very, your way. Very Are you serious? Very disappointing. Man. I, uh... Yeah. Easter Bunny is fun, isn't he? Fun he's, bit. He, you just don't see what he's going to do. He just hides stuff. He makes you work for it. He does make you work for it, where Santa's just kind of like... Santa says you have to be good all year. Yeah, Santa but, makes you work for it in no, a much but, more existential way. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and the bunny just sits there and says, says I, hid, I hid something. Hope yeah, you can find, find it. If not, you'll find it a couple weeks from now. The weirdest thing about Easter for me is the chocolate crosses. Yeah, that's I a weird bit, I don't right? Know, I don't know how Eat, much we can dive in there, but eating, I don't, uh, I don't like it. I, I don't, don't like it. You know, now, I still it do it. My mind that that should be a weird bit. Never crossed your mind. You, I see what you did there. <laughs> Very nicely done. He's, oh boy, uh, it 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 is shocking to me every time uh, that I see it, and it's shocking every time I eat it because I'm, I'm still going to eat it. Yeah, I mean, you know, chocolate, sure, sure, come on. Sure. Is it, like, if they made a, a Reese's chocolate cross, I would. <laughs> Peanut butter filling oh and that bad goodness. boy. I probably still feel weird, but I would go to town on it. Yeah, you know, that, that just is printing money at that point, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're yeah. just like, it's a Reese's Cross. Man, yeah. nothing Here's makes me want to eat more chocolate. Like, you know, thinking about my sin and whatnot while I'm eating it. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. I mean, I really shouldn't, but this cross <laughs> is calling me. The thing that makes the most sense is the hollow chocolate eggs. Because, you know, he's not there. Amen. 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 <laughs> It was empty. Well, an egg with no peanut butter inside. I would be furious and excited at the same time. I'm in. Have we ever, uh, guys, can we come out with a chocolate, a chocolate egg? And st- we, it says it's filled with peanut butter. Instead, it's just a ch- little pa- piece of paper. Yeah. Says, you won't find him here. <laughs> you won't find him here. No, no. Is there a tract inside? Oh, there could uh, be. Uh, a little one. A little Vanja cube. A little mini one. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard to yeah. turn it. At it's that like point. an Vanja cube for mice. <laughs> Oh. The cube for mice. Who hasn't? Who hasn't been there? Who hasn't right? wanted one of those? What are those? <laughs> what? What? I feel like everybody's Easter was different growing up. Like Christmas, most people mm-hmm. had a similar, uh, you know, situation. Mm-hmm. But Easter, everybody's different. Yeah. So my parents 
would, um, and Bunny, of course, <laughs> would, this is where, because it, it's foggy, you know, it's, it's yeah. murky here because yeah, yeah. we don't know what's going on with the bunny. But um, they would hide a, ba- a basket. They would hide a basket. Instead mm-hmm. of hiding individual yeah. eggs, yeah, baby, they yeah. would put a basket together and hide that, Same. like behind a curtain. <laughs> like it would, they, they were never good hiding spots. Like there's only so many places you could hide a, a basket, but they would try to. Like, maybe, be, maybe behind a curtain, maybe he's under the bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what was your Easter going? Yeah, it was the same. Uh, same, uh, same idea, but there was always one big ticket item like a, a Christian CD or something like that. <laughs> That's the big ticket right there. I got the Prince of Egypt soundtrack one year. Oh, boy. I uh, got uh, Seven Day Jesus one year. Thank goodness somebody <laughs> Never does. gonna go down <laughs> with the ship. It was great. Yeah. I was the, so pumped. The problem with the the bunny is like with Christmas and uh, Santa. Santa, you have the elves that are making all this thing. It's like, what is is the Easter bunny down there like burning CDs? Like what is the... It is weird for me that church people totally embrace Santa... But are like Easter Bunny? No. Yeah. No. No. I don't like. That's the thing. Like we didn't either, embrace Santa in my a, family. We didn't though. embrace Santa in my family. But you know the people I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. They yes. are all about Santa. But Easter Bunny? No, no, no. Happy Resurrection Day. Thank you very much. Uh, ha, you know that I don't get it. Like, we could if, talk about that. That's a different podcast. If you're but cool with good Santa, answer, you're cool with the Easter Bunny. My parents, Happy Resurrection Day people. Now, they would get things we liked and hid them usually instead of eggs. Like They would, would just hide them like out. Baseball card collecting. They would buy a box of packs, and they would hide the packs around so good, man. the house. Um, you know, because that was the resurrection thing to do, I guess. Um, <laughs> well, because uh, all the disciples looking for Jesus. Where you at? Where you at? Where you go? <laughs> Where you go? He ain't here? <laughs> he ain't here. Mm. <laughs> well, enough of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We got at least another type five on Easter, I believe. <laughs> yeah. You guys ready to talk about one perfect wedding? I wish oh, we would. Please. One perfect wedding. It originally aired on April 3rd, 2021. 2021. 2021. And it went a little something like this. So Kara and Ben, they're still engaged. They are both super busy. I've got good news, guys. I got good news updates um, because uh, his company... The snowboard company, it's, it's thriving. And so they kind of keep pushing back this wedding. Her book career, crushing it. She is a, a best-selling author who has been offered to go on a European book tour. What? So they decide, hey, you want to be romantic? Let's rush this sucker and get married tomorrow. They're on their way to the courthouse and she gets a call from her dad and she's like, oh, family. We forgot about family. And so she's like, I think we should have our family here. And they decide we're going to push back the wedding once again. But Ben gets this big idea to get married at the chalet. You guys know the chalet? You remember that one? I remember the chalet. They're going to get married at the chalet next weekend. Now, Kara's excited uh, about this, but she does wish that she would have been included in the planning because this seems to be something that Ben does a lot. He plans these big things and doesn't invite Kara into the process. And you got to trust the process. Got to trust the process. Kara, though, is uh, she's excited and uh, she's excited her family's going to be able to be there. Her and Megan go to look at dresses. Ben's sister, who we meet for the first time, gets invited. They have a lovely time. Yay. Go. Uh, they send uh, the sister to go and uh, and and buy the dresses with the card and all that good stuff. It's great. Um, so they get to the resort. Ben finds out that someone's trying to buy the resort. Now this is a big deal for him because he, you know, the, the, they met at the chalet, but also he went to Camp Snow. You guys know Camp Snow. I love Camp Snow. They went to they went to Camp Snow growing up. What's going to happen to Camp Snow? Oh no, not Camp Snow. So Ben decides, you know. Everyone's been pushing for me to diversify the company. What if we bought a resort? <laughs> so he's dry, he's making all the calls, he's doing everything. And he gets people on board. There's one partner that owns, I believe, a third of the resort. Is that correct, guys? Um, sure. Yeah, who, who they can't get in contact with. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they, they can't convince Don because Rituals. they can't get in contact. <laughs> it's Don. It's hey, Don. <laughs> You want to share your third? It's no, li- no. It's literally not Don. You know what happened? Don Richels. <laughs> Don, Don Richels was the second. He was on board. Don Richels the second. Yeah, Junior. No. John Don Richels. He was the second partner. He's on board. Don Richels. Yes. <laughs> 
go, 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 go. Camp Snow, go. Here, Camp Snow. What do you love? Snow. Camp Snow. What do you love it? Camp Snow. <laughs> Kara. Um, so all that's happening. Kara's wrapped up in the mystery of the couple who started the resort in the first place. Uh, she does make up most of the mystery herself, but that's neither here nor there. She's a mystery writer. What do you want? She befriends a piano player named Goldie, which is an awesome name. And she's enjoying watching Kara snoop around in someone else's business from afar. Kara is also trying to figure out what's been up to. He's always doing stuff without me. Uh, turns out Goldie is the owner's daughter the resort you guys know um and uh also is the last partner that needs to agree to sell the resort goldie so they guess what she gives the okay yay it's time for the wedding except the dresses are all wrong you dumb sister you had one job she messed it up everything's messed up a good thing she's the exact same size as her mother was so she gets to wear her mother's wedding dress they have a lovely wedding together they have a romantic honeymoon in the chalet where she finishes the pitch of her book like all good honeymoons do the movie ends by Megan getting brought out into the snow where no one wants to be when it's that cold for a surprise suppo- a proposal with Sean via uh, FaceTime. She says, yeah. <laughs> and that, my friends, was one, one perfect, perfect wedding. Yeah. We did it, everybody. We did it. One winter wedding? No, not this movie. One perfect winter wedding. wedding. Can't do it. Make it perfect. One winter wedding. Is it spring? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Don Richards. <laughs> No. <laughs> what are you saying no to? That's he is being Don Richels, I believe. No. Uh, we got saying, Don Richels on the line? Don, how you doing? No. Nope. We don't have him on the line? No, I'm here. Okay, Don. What's the what's the big deal, buddy? I don't want to sell it. You don't want a sub? No, sell it. It's a movie. A salad? No. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back here on Deck the Hallmark. Take the day off. (laughs) You know, you mentioned it, Dan, and so I think it is uh, important. You mentioned it before break, which, by the way, what a break. Um, Take the day off is back this week. It is. Take the day off, The people were clamoring. The people were clamoring. People Uh, on the YouTube channel, they skip right by, like, interviews of, like, Daniel Lissing. Yes. They're just like, what day of the week is it? (laughs) Um, well, yesterday was deep dish pizza day. Mm. Today is another day. So, <laughs> well, we, we recorded it so early this morning. It's, just a, it's hard it's to just remember. It's just foggy. It's just yeah, foggy. We'll get there. And we, I had such a long, you know, conversation about deep dish yesterday because people were commenting back and forth. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. Deep a lot dish. of deep dish. Deep dish is awesome. Deep yeah, dish yeah, yeah. is. Um, guys, we have four segments here on the show to break this movie down, to share how we feel about it. And I think we, it's only fair we start with the hot take where we, where we, I don't know. I, I want to say the nitty gritty is really where we begin. Yeah, of course. Um, Panda, you always kick us off because you you're you're so uh, you have a way with words you're would you say i'm astute uh, you're astute thank you so astute times with panda what did you think of the third part of this trilogy one perfect wedding okay so it's better than one perfect engagement one winter engagement one, one winter, winter engagement. engagement come on get it right yeah, man. One, one winter proposal <laughs> one yeah that's yeah, the one, not one winter proposal <laughs> Gosh, it's almost like we're also watching engaging father christmas this week Sheesh. shoot me in the uh, face <laughs> Yeah, it's it's better than that. Here's the thing. I, I know this sounds crazy. Sean not being in the movie is a blow to this movie. What do you mean? He's in the movie with bad I, I FaceTime audio. He, like he's I, there. I understand he had prior engagements or whatever. He's on the other show or something. But like, mm-hmm. here's the deal. He really does. Like, I'm surprised. He adds a lot to the chemistry and the actual moving forward of the plot, I think. It's uh, almost like Sean and Meg's characters were really important together. Yeah, it yeah. really, honestly. And so this, this as a result, this movie just is fine. Uh, the the mystery is fairly interesting, I guess. Uh, so that's fine. It, it's fine. It's not as good as the very first one in the series. Uh, but sure, I'm glad, I'm glad we wrapped it up. <laughs> 
We did it. Put that on the DVD box. <laughs> I'm glad we wrapped, we wrapped it, it up. up. Will there be another one with the? Uh, I hope. I legitimately hope so. Megan. I hope so. What do you call it? Uh, another, 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 another winter, winter, winter romance. Winter. Yeah. <laughs> we just keep this ball rolling. Just another, it another. It's gonna be great. Um. So I agree. I think it's better than the second one. I think there's a couple of things that play uh, in this movie's favor, which is the introduction of two characters that I, I liked a good bit, which is the sister mm -hmm. and Kara's dad. I like both of those characters. They bring an, a little extra zing into this movie. Um, and so where we lose, um, you know, the the in-person zing of Sean, which I think is important. A lot of in-person zing. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I, I saw him live. Oh, so oh good. Oh, my gosh. Broke they up, if you can believe Why? it. Why? Derek Donovan. <laughs> Derek yeah, Donovan. I know him. I know him. And the Spitz. Yes. Uh, had it out. Not again. In the spits, and you know the spits through the first punch. They it always does. does. They okay. said they were working on that. No, not anymore. They were working it's through it. Buddy. It's over, man. It's Read over. It. Come on. Anyways, I think those two. The, that was, I think, what was missing in the in the second one was the introduction of characters yes, to to make it different enough. Like we, you know, she had that conversation, that friendship, which she also kind of has in this one with an older woman, the wife of the investor. Remember that? Right. But they're like... That wasn't enough to... Like, and Goldie's good in this too, but those characters that, you know, like she's just having conversations with older women, which is great. It's like wonderful. <laughs> but uh, I think that the sister and the dad, they both bring enough to this movie to elevate it um, past the second movie. And so I liked it. I liked it overall. And I really liked those characters. I thought the sister, I, she, 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 I she, her. she was fun. She was fun. And so maybe we'll see her in more stuff. You know, there's, it, it, it's all about how you frame it because uh, this is the best thing I've watched for the podcast for the week. It also is terrible, <laughs> like really, really bad. Um, and I hate that they had to make as many of these as they did. I hate that Hallmark makes sequels in general. It is better than the second one. I'll agree with both of you on that. Purely because I think they do this thing, and it's very not subtle at all, but they show you an Agatha Christie book, and then they have something in the movie play like the book played, which is what happened with Goldie. It was actually the woman who did it, and th that aspect of it is, is fine. I like... I actually probably like Jack Turner and Taylor Cole in these movies more than you guys do based upon the first two. It just is a shame. This movie has nowhere to go and Sean and Meg not being together didn't help it either. And it's clearly a winter movie that they filmed a long time ago. Like none of it feels like it was filmed recently. You don't think it all. was a COVID uh, film during COVID? It was filmed. Uh, Jack told us it was filmed a while ago. He said he'd forgotten it. Like, well, that's on me. Boys. That could have been in COVID, it. but that could have been a year ago. Like I think yeah, they filmed no. it for it to winter. be a winter movie and they changed Which would it. make sense. They added those two scenes where they explain, we never get this much snow in the springtime. And then they get a second snow that's also two feet. And they're like, man, April is crazy. <laughs> uh, what are we? April showers bring snow in the boatloads. Uh, and so I, I just, yeah, it just, these movies, I just haven't seen a good Hallmark sequel, and that didn't change here. But still, compared to the third Christmas Prince, compared to the second Finding Father Christmas, compared to the second episode of season two, Wayne Calls Heart, this movie's a gold mine. And so by that stretch, sure. But this, unfortunately, has replaced last week, I think, as the worst movie week of uh, that I've the worst week of the year. Viewing. Wait, you think that this week of viewing is worse than last? Don't week? don't underestimate the, the power of eighty four yeah, minutes right, of Winkle's right. heart. But last week's Christmas Prince was worse than this week's Christmas Prince, and last week's Finding Father was better than this week's Engaging Father. And I, I balance it out my head. I've done the math. We it's didn't very do close. Father last week. We did. Uh, we did. We it did was the proposal. The proposal. Oh. Good gracious, then never no, mind. No, last week was way worse. Yeah, last week was worse. I stand corrected. Last week was worse. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best thing I watched all week for the podcast. Great. Mm. <laughs> Bad news. We did it! Yeah, fine. Yeah. That was a good one. Right, good right on, brother. Yeah, still, good man. I hired somebody to practice with me. Yeah. Who'd you hire? Five uh, coach. Uh, Hank. You hired Hank? Hank, yeah. high five. <laughs> Hank Flappers, dude, he is as good as it gets, man. He does not. He guarantees high five success. Yeah, he does. Man, it's it's that's great. Good. That, yeah. We got him on the line? We do. Hello, everybody. I'm Hank Flappers. Slap me a big one. 
Oh, yeah. Are you in studio? No, I've sent uh, uh, someone in my stead. Who's in your stead? Jerry. I am Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, did he give you a good one? Oh, it was a Was real, it a flapper guarantee? It was a flapper guarantee. <laughs> good to hear. Give me the flapper guarantee. You're going to get your $5 back. It's, That's your song. It's, it is my song. It's $5 per five. Five. Five, five dollar. dollar. Five dollar high five. <laughs> Subway stole it from me in court. No. I'm suing them. I'm suing those sandwich artists. They'll never see it coming. I don't. I mean, Subway hasn't had any bad press. <laughs> so, hey, uh, it's time for all the feels. As far as show, we talk about what in this movie gave us those feels. Panda guys. I hate to admit this. This movie got me to tear up. Wow. Stop it. it. When she's wearing her mother's dress. Which, can we all agree, better dress. Better dress. Way better Way dress. Way better, better dress. dress. It's not, not even close. close. Jeez, 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 five. <laughs> five. 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 <laughs> five. I mean, and I know, we're just three. You are now required to play the jingle six times in this episode, or you owe me a Coke. Dadgummit. I'm suing Subway for a Coke. (laughs) I'm suing everybody in Cokes. Are you suing us for a Coke? It's $5 for the high fives, Cokes, if you don't don't don't. play the jingle. (laughs) Guys, I'm really sad that I got locked into a contract with this guy. That's tough. It's airtight contract. It looks like it's working for you, though. The high fives look great, man. Thanks, man. And apparently you... Rope the pot into it somehow with that contract. You know what happens. Yeah, I start boy, signing papers time. and before yeah. you know it, I've just I've signed away the barn. Um, I, we're just three boys uh, that know nothing about dresses. Nothing. But, but she su- she should have said yes to that dress. Say yeah. yes to that dress. So what was the what dress. was the thing? Uh, just she's wearing her mom's dress, and I like okay maybe it's because I have a daughter that got me. Like if you and he sits there and he says uh, the dad says something on the effect of your mom came through mom came through for us again or something like that. That's really, guys, that's, I liked it. That scene got me, man. I just teared up. Yeah. If I put myself in that same situation, I'm bawling. Like, if I'm the dad in that situation. I don't think that's enough to get somebody to cry. There are bad movies made with good situations in them. I mean. I cried. What do you want from me? I have a soft heart. I want you to be better. Right here. (laughs) It's tender. It hasn't he, been hardened through the world, Dan. That's right. He he heard your crying situation. And he said, that's not enough to cry. He said, no, you should. No, no, I'm saying that just if I put myself in the shoes of that person is not enough Sometimes to cry. Sometimes Dan just kicks me. He's like, you crying yet? I was like, no. And he says, you're right, because it wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. That's and right. it hurts, but I'm tough. Dan makes me tougher. I mean, you tougher. lived through the Great Depression. Every Great Depression <laughs> movie makes you cry now. <laughs> One hasn't got me crying in a while. You're right. Yeah, it's not enough. Stand corrected. Stand corrected. Um, right. uh, yeah, that that scene gave me feels. Um, I didn't cry. Um, <laughs> was it enough to make you cry? It was. It for me, it wasn't. But for you, absolutely. Okay, and I thanks. support you in that. Thank you, buddy. Because I've teared up at a lot of things that I shouldn't have, yeah. and so no one knows it better yeah, than me. True. Um, yeah, that scene was great, and that dress was dope. And I can I, I again, I know I'm just I'm just a guy who doesn't know anything about dresses, but it was also much more up her uh, out valley alley. alley? It was definitely alley. <laughs> it's not valley. It's not valley. Never has been because it had like the you know the the the, the, the stones like the but they did that but intentionally, right? But what I'm like the first one didn't. I the when she came was out, so plain and it was terrible. So, yeah, it's she's bad never dress. worn a plain dress in this movie. What is this? Jeez. What are you doing? Are you calling, get out? Are you shaking the server away? You're I'm done? saying no, no, no to the dress, no to the dress. It's a bad dress. Even my wife said that she looked. She's like that's a bad dress. It's a bad dress, Ricky. It's, bad you, dress. it's your job there to say no. Yeah. But they had to make it a bad dress so the other one would pop. Not enough stones. Not enough stones. You need to bling that dress out. What's something that's been up your valley in the last year or so? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Huh? Uh, Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> Just recently, <laughs> you discovered Code Red. Sometimes it comes <laughs> Did back. Did you go back to college? <laughs> Just snaps. Sometimes you buy one, and it, you didn't mean to, but then you drink it. And <laughs> How do you like, accidentally oh, buy a code red? red? Buy a code red because you think you're buying uh, the live wire or whatever, and then or the the Sergeant Melon. They have like a major melon. Sergeant <laughs> Melon is not one. It's not a thing. Sergeant Melon. There's, there's How much Mountain Dew do you buy? 
just occasional, it's just an occasional pop. And you drink it, you go, wow, that really slaps I different. Could really go for a Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant Melon. Melon. Oh, is what man, I, could. I got a code rat. Man, but then <laughs> it comes out to be good. It's been, especially if you buy full sugar, not the diet. Why would you buy diet code red? Like, are you have a death if, wish? <laughs> I used to drink them all the diet time. Diet code red? Diet code red. Because you, you want all the pep without any of the red, carbs. You want that red dye. Or calories or whatever. Any of the carbs or calories. You don't want to. Yeah. I mean. You want all the pep? You want all the pep from. I mean, dude, have you ever had a code red diet? If I can find them. I don't think they make them anymore. But if you could get one. I'm buying, the only one the, buying I'm them. I'm buying around for everybody. Please do. I'd love it. And we'll do a side by side. Do they have a Sergeant Mellon diet? Yeah, they do wow. have a uh, sergeant. Yeah, it's like Captain Melon or something. It's one of the it's like <laughs> it a, captain or sergeant because that I think it's sergeant changes Mellon. everything. I think it's Sergeant Melon because captain. I mean, but sergeant Sergeant Melon. It has Someone to be Sergeant Melon up. Mountain Dew. I'm looking it up. <laughs> it, I, is it Dew. diet Sergeant Melon There's or is it cap- diet and they they have a regular Sergeant Melon? Is it but major you, melon? Oh, major major melon. I've never been more disappointed because it's not about a rank. It's just man, that is some major melon. Oh, it's but not major a, melon. But it's one of the major melon. Has like an army hat on, it's doesn't not, it? Doesn't the logo have? I a don't one? know. I just learned that this thing was a drink. Today. Is it a melon with a hat on? I think there's a melon with an army hat on. I could swear. Hold on. Hold you on. could swear. Either swear or don't. I'm gonna swear. It. All right. And I swear. <laughs> Major melons a thing with a hat <laughs> for better or worse. If it's major melon, it's definitely yeah. worse. Army hat. Yeah, he does have that. Uh, yeah. Wow. But that's pink. How do you get code red out of that? In what world is not that? Looking an- that carefully. It was a grab and go kind of sitch. Man, what are you looking at? We're doing a lot of work to call that an army hat. <laughs> What do you call it? Like it, it, looks, kind of looks, it looks like a thimble. It looks more like a happening. thimble than a hat. This looks but like a flavor of sour candy that didn't make it. It doesn't taste real good. I took two sips and I said, that's a regret. But you said that's what you were going for and you got the code red by accident. No, I, well, I went back and got another one. I'm not going to sit there and not try the major melon when it comes out. And I was more but careful I thought, the no, second Your time. whole thing was sometimes you get a code red by accident because you're going for a major melon. Right. So I got the code you red. had the major melon is bad. It. Yeah, and then I what went back he's to get saying the is the when he found snack. out about Major Melon, so he, this is he, just a first this is a one time because okay. the way he talked, it sounded like he drank Major Melon on the regs. No, this no. is a sometime when code red by accident. I saw I saw that there was a Major Melon, yes. and I said I really want to gra- try when one. Reached and grabbed it. It was a code red watermelon soda. Get out of my way! It was, it was watermelon soda. Hi, I loved it. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, why are you thanking me because for doing it? it? Yeah, because it just. I'm thanking you for loving it, Dan. Do you have any feels? No, God. <laughs> Let's God, go no. to a break. We'll be right back here on Dog Dog. Watermelon soda. Hi. Uh, welcome back, everybody. It is Deck the Hallmark Mountain Dew Edition. <laughs> Who's our sponsor this week, guys? Do we know? I, I have heard, I've gotten on, on good authority that we have been instructed to do the do. Do the do. And and I'm not here to argue no, you don't about argue it. That. You don't want to argue that. But no. we have been instructed to do the do. Mm-hmm. So. Good. Uh, it's time for Wait What. It's part of the show. We talk about what in this movie made us go, Wait What? Panda. So she has a national bestseller. Yeah. I want to point that out. She has a national two bestseller. And her, yeah, two of them. And her agent is pushing her to give her the third pitch like right away over your wedding week. Like if I would suggest you, if you're a two-time national bestseller, you can tell your agent you're going to have to wait a shove couple off. Weeks. Yeah, yeah, shove, shove off, off for just a little bit. Like yeah. I would just suggest that. Uh, he says her, her uh, what's his name? I can't even remember these guys. Uh, ben says at one point. It's the third movie. Yeah, Good I know. gracious. To be fair, you didn't know Shadow. Yeah, Shadow's That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <It's> fair. <laughs> You got to cut me some slack. Uh, slack cut. Cut ben, it out. Ben says 10 days isn't enough time to plan a birthday party. Yeah. And I'll tell you. He's never watched a Hallmark movie. I can tell you that. <laughs> it is enough time. We've we've seen this. Um, guys, the fact that Ben is still keeping secrets after two years 
Like but I'm concerned. Is he keeping secrets or is he trying to plan a surprise? Like, but but there's multiple things he's just not including her in on. Like the camp. So he's trying to buy a resort without yeah. telling her. But that's, like, that's a, a major but problem. He talks to her about the business. And she's just like, I got a book tour to do. He's, I got a diverse. It's not like he's buying a business out of their joint checking. It's this business he's running. And the board keeps telling him he's got to diversify, not put it all in the business. And that's, I get, I get that. I don't know. Like, I just, to me, seen, that seems a little but like. For me, it was she, Kara, could not be less impressed that he planned a surprise wedding that's at fair. the chalet where they met. And is special to them. I think, but and this she goes says back. you do this all the time. This guy couldn't be more in the box, okay? I think, but this, I, okay, that, but this still goes along with my weight. What? I'm not sure they're a great couple. After three yeah. of these movies together, I'm like because she mildly writes, concerned. Remember about the him. second book? She didn't tell him that they broke up, and he figured it out and thought it was a sign. Yeah, I, they don't communicate. No, they don't communicate. This is a much like larger is just, issue. Yes. My final one is, and this this is important, the scoring for the trivia night. How does it work? Because they won 12 the, to bride, 10, right? the bride's team Got misses it. the question. Yeah. No negative. negative. Yeah, negative one. Negative one. And then the other team misses the question, and the bride's team now gets a point. Yes. Instead of them losing a yeah, point. How does sense. that work? The only thing I could figure, because I had the same thing, but the dad knew the answer and said it out loud. And and he was on Team Bride. Okay. And so I think maybe if you, on your team, know the answer to your own question. It's a classic. What? It's a double bounce back. It's a, it's a double it's bounce a tra- back it's a double. It's a double dare. You wrote the questions. You can't be a bounce back. It's a double bounce back. Oh. Miss, it's a bounce dare. back, bounce back. But that's not what happened. It's a dare, double dare, physical challenge. Oh, well, if you had told me Ooh, that. Slimes everywhere. Challenge. Oh, my yeah. gosh, yeah. And figure it out. What is it? Don't what know. Is it? Slime. Summer Sanders. Yeah, I love yeah. Classic. Sanders. Yeah, I was the host of that show. Well, that was a weird way to say what you said <laughs> just now. Guys, I don't know what you want from me. I was I thought she was great. <laughs> you didn't say it in past tense. You didn't say I loved. You said, I love Summer Sanders. Let's get that audio. Get it over to Summer. See if we don't get a restraining order in the mail. <laughs> I it <laughs> I made a dump step on it. <laughs> Gotta hear it? A dump step? A dump step. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Love Summer Sanders. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Love Summer Sanders. <laughs> you good, man? You got your all yours? I'm done. Yeah, we got it. Does the does the does the the little sister know nothing about her brother? Yes. I don't know if you heard. She's new. She's new. She was in movie. college when they met. Like, she had to be informed that they met at the chalet. <laughs> what? Had to be informed who Megan is. I, she, is she, like, not only is she new to this movie, she might be new to this universe. Yes. Because she knew nothing about, about her Adult brother. Adult adoption. Which, which <laughs> is uh, great, wonderful, if that's her story. But, again, this might go back to Ben being too secretive. Because his sister's like, how'd you meet her? Not telling <laughs> Uh, I'm not telling you. Ooh, the guy's nope. got hangups, man. The guy, just, the guy's a secret talent keeper. <laughs> the promise keeper, secret keepers. <laughs> He's a secret keeper. That's a different. Uh, that's a different didn't conference. Didn't last as long. Uh, that's a different conference, man. That was, uh, that was Jerry Fall Jr.'s conference, right? <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, started that to compete with promise keepers. <laughs> he said he didn't want to speak. He just wanted to watch. <laughs> No, no. Good thing I earned a degree from there. Am I right? A what? Good. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Brain. Was that like before? Like I know it was either before or after the pool boy conference, but I like I. <laughs> I don't know if it was on the way out or. Ooh. Um. <laughs> um. The Edgy. the the mom. Is a is a radio DJ? Yeah, and <laughs> she says this line: "If if if you host a radio show, everyone knows if you're playing hooky." And I just like, do you never get a day off? Day ever? Off, ever when you're a radio DJ? 
You yeah, listen to yeah. listen That's... to Hawk and Tom in the morning. They're not there. Ooh, they're yeah. playing Hawk hockey. and Frank here. What's, what's, <laughs> where's Tom? Where's Tom, what's going on with Tom? <laughs> Panda's actually playing hooky every Monday. Yep. Yeah, That's Hawk true. and Frank is a better show in my opinion. <laughs> I do think Frank brings something he brings that Tom, a little spice Tom yeah, doesn't have. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's good local jokes. <laughs> People are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got you. Talk I got you. I got Classic. you. I got you. So they're, um, the guy who is doing everything for the wedding is also at the same time putting together a room of pictures about the history. I don't know what's going on, but it's happening. Mm-hmm. And he hangs up. I, what I would say is the saddest letter of all time. Of all time. Why is he hanging up this I sad letter? Know. I don't know. It's a very sad letter. It's a sad letter. It's a sad letter. Um, last but not least, guys, I, I mean, I just, I don't know what, I, you, you learn, you learn nothing from the first movie because, and this is even worse. The reception, they are dancing with sparklers inside. Inside, that's right. There is a yep. full rave with just sparklers. No. <laughs> just one In wrong move. Eyes. One wrong move. Anybody's had anything to drink. Oh my gosh! Forget. I mean, yeah. God forbid it's an open, open bar. Open bar and Whoa. sparkler. Here's your double tequila. Here's your sparkler. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you need? Nope. You're good. Good. It 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 is bothers. It, uh, if that happened at a party, I'd walk out and be like, I can't do this. I can't. I can't stand here. Yeah, that'd be. Brutal. I can't handle it. It's crazy. It would Damn. probably not smell great either. Just kind of smell vaguely of smoke. <laughs> Oh, is that Fourth of July? <laughs> oh, that's good, Dan. So Meg's mom and Kara's dad both show up for this yeah. iteration. Yeah, and they're both millennials. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> know. I think they're younger than their kids. <laughs> like this is the most egregious iteration of the young parent I've ever seen. Like my man doesn't even qualify for a Just for Men commercial. Like he may be forty-two, and the mom, Meg's mom. No, no, she couldn't. She couldn't be a sitcom mom. Like she yeah. is nowhere near. And everybody just plays it like it's normal. Like look them up on IMDb. They don't have their birthdays there. They're young. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Early in this movie, uh, Kara and Ben are eating at in the evening, and Ben says, "Do you want me to go pick us up our food and grab a couple glasses of wine?" And she says, "I can't have any wine tonight because I'm texting with my book agent." And we have a meeting tomorrow morning. Lady, he didn't ask if you wanted to like shotgun some moonshine. He asked if you wanted one glass of wine. Like what about your current situation would keep you from drinking a glass of wine at dinner because you're texting with your book agent. Maybe, she, maybe she has a strong a histamine response. A she histamine just, response. And she sits there normally and just is her. fine. Just slaps her in the face. Hits her quick. Time. Hits her quick. Yep. One glass. Shotgun you know, the melody. <laughs> How dare you ask me for a glass of wine? I'm texting with my book agent. No. Um, they're setting up for Hits this party quick. where uh, Sean's going to propose to Meg. And Ben comes in. And I still don't understand this. This is just me. Like a clear wait what. It, it's not a complaint. It's a wait what. He says... How's the chocolate fondue? And she says, perfect. And I didn't sneak a bite. I didn't sneak one bite. And she takes a bite. And he says, ha, 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 you liar. Proud of you. (laughs) (laughs) Proud of you? Why? Why? Proud of you for for what? She never breaks the rules. She's trying to get edgy. He's proud of her for saying she didn't take a bite of fondue. And taking one, it was more of a wink and a nod, right? Like where she's just like, "Yeah, I, I took, I took one, right?" Like, but, but she said, "I, I understand. I didn't take one bite. Wink, wink. Yes, I did. Ha ha! You liar. All makes sense. What if we sprinkle in a little proud of you? I don't." Because she's she's always in the box and she's breaking out. She's like, "This rule isn't a biggie," and um, he's just wanting her to be. I'm with Payne on this one. He's really? making sense of it. Proud of you. Proud of you. Yeah. I'm not proud of it. Yeah. Um, I'm not proud of it. She is a self-admitted huge Agatha Christie fan. Huge. And she has never read Death on the Nile. She says she loves the first, first first movie. Loves the books. Big fan of the books. Never read Death on the Nile. Never read it. Huge Steven Spielberg fan. Haven't seen the Jurassic Park. Haven't seen that one. I'm sorry. Huge fan. Haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, Rakia Bernard is doing a lot. She's clearly doing too much because she's left her decorative pine cones strewn about the ground. (laughs) 
<laughs> like, don't blame that on the sister or, or on Kara. You put pine cones all over your living room like the floor is lava. Like, you can't do that and expect people not to break the pine cones. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then I want to make sure I understand this correctly. Okay. Goldie. Sure. The reason that that letter was so confusing is because her mom wrote it to her and signed her name M for mom. <laughs> yes. That was the piece we couldn't put together is, man, but M, M has to stand for, no, it's M for mom. Forgive you me, know mom. how you can't write three letters? You can't do it. Can't get those three letters out. Just, I'm going to sign it M for mom. I think that that's a thing. That mom. M for yeah. mom? If if you write a lot of notes, <laughs> if you write a lot of notes. Those extra two letters are real yeah. slug. I, uh, I've signed things B. Mm. There's a difference yeah. between signing your name That's Brian right. and right. signing M for mom or D. Right. It's like if you it's write your a name? note to your kid and being like D. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who's D? <laughs> Being of the boys. I don't know. Uh, I understand. I give them a pass on Rukia Bernard's phone being in the couch because she was trying to unplug and unwind. I give them a pass on her opening the phone and all the text messages coming in at once, even though that makes no sense. But here's where I draw the line. You are getting married and the wedding planner doesn't even open the dresses until the morning of the wedding. Unreal. Doesn't open them. They don't find that conundrum out until the morning of the wedding. Those gowns have been around. How have they not opened them and said, oh, no, this is a problem? They just didn't. She just left them closed and said, oh, I'm sure it'll work out. I trust the, trust hey, the guy, process. One of the Deckers told me M for mom's not a thing. and uh, It isn't. A th- of course it's not a thing. <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> I just want to say, maybe, maybe, you're the, maybe you're the mom out there. Maybe there's a moment there and you do sign your notes, him, and I want to let you know you can keep doing Brand, it. Brian, you're wrong here, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> and that's proud what you. counts. You know what? I'm proud of you because you're doubling down on something that doesn't need double yeah. down on. I'm you gonna never s- do that. That's true. Well, mom. you do that from time to time, but neither here nor there. M for mom. It could be a thing. Let's make it a thing. 2021 is the year of the M. <laughs> year of the M? Year of the M. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Stop for what the homework is part of the show. We wonder what could have been maybe having give some clarity to the questions that we still have. I'm going to start with my good friend Panda. Panda, what are you still wondering about, pal? What happened to the guy who announces the weather? Oh, uh, yeah, he's Because gone. he would have been really helpful here. <laughs> Super at helpful. The, at, the, at the point where a freak snowstorm comes Super in. Super helpful. Like, I just, I like, you need somebody watching your six. And what happened? Yeah. Guy's gone. Where, where'd he go? I want to know what happened to him. Watching your six is what you went with. I went with that yeah, because I know all the lingo. Yeah, you do. I have two. One is I you brought up the trivia game, which mm-hmm. is a great question. But I also want to know about the game trivia presentation on the screen. It was very in real time and very elaborate like the the answers are coming in one at a time. It was very yeah. well done. Yeah, it was. I want to know if there was a company that put that together who was running it. I didn't see anybody in the back running, you know, pro presenter or something hitting the next slides. Want to know who did that? And second of all, guys, you know, you mentioned that these two might not be for each other. They they say, you know, the first year of marriage is the hardest and one of the most important. Mm-hmm. And I'm worried because she yeah. is buying a resort and she's going to be in Europe. Yeah. Well, what's, what's that's his, a tough first year hurdle. And I think it's all gonna, so they mentioned that one of them go, leaves on the European tour and then he goes right when she gets back, he goes right into I think he's going to Asia for a few They're months. Two professionals, man, doing their I, things. And I'm not lot, saying guys. it can't work out. No. You know, and these two have clearly been together for a year of him starting a company and her writing two bestsellers. Sure. So clearly they know how to handle that, but they also hadn't been able to get married My question, because they couldn't find the time. So I'm worried that they're going to be not be able to find the time for each other in this first year of marriage where it's so crucial. My question wasn't the time. It was how much money, like how much money does Charmed make? If when we say diversifying funds, they're buying a full resort and like ski, like ski lodge, like that's a lot of money. I mean, I assume that they had a really good first year because they have what appears to be an amazing office with lots of employees. So things seem to be going well. It is a big, big office with lots and lots of employees. Yeah. 
for sure. What about food? What's going on there? Oh, it's good. Okay. Table? Oh, big, big table. What about Summer Sanders? <laughs> I love Summer Sanders. Man, it doesn't get any less creepy. <laughs> I had two. First of all, the bellhop slash guy at the front desk. Who's also making the what history he? room. Because he is making all the calls and knows all the things. Yeah. Is he the owner slash bellhop? Is he? He was also a new introduction to this franchise that but I like. He's liked. everywhere and knows everything. Yeah. And is he an employee or is he running the place? Yeah, I, like I just I, I didn't get it. And then lastly, the, all this talk of this great invention of the helmet with the ponytail, and these people are out skiing, and not a one of them bothers <laughs> to wear it, talk about it, use it nothing zero it's like they forgot about it he didn't patent it and i think that's the that's, key that's what you got he didn't patent pat- it someone ripped it off and like now they're just like we're not gonna do it like, still have enough money to buy it yeah but this, they're not gonna do it now because they didn't patent it they didn't, well someone else did it yeah and, yeah and they're just not gonna use that yeah, as a principle of course a principle if someone you know knocked off deck the hallmark with like funnier guys I wouldn't listen to that podcast. Out of principle. <laughs> out of principle? I think I would. If it was funny, I'd listen. How, yeah. it, it depends on how many times I mention Summer Sanders. Yeah. Over, under, like seven. I'm in. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. I love Summer Sanders. I love Summer Sanders. There's what has she done since it. Figure It Out? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> love her, though. She's what did she do before? Oh, She was a swimmer, wasn't she? Yeah, Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Good high fives, too. Harry's paying off. Harry is paying off, man. $5. $5 per five fives, from what I understand. Yes, that's exactly per, right. Per high five. Yes. $5 we, high five. Yeah. $5 high five. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, we did it, everybody. We're going to be back tomorrow. Really fun interview that you won't want to miss. Thursday, back with season two, episode two of When Calls the Heart. And Friday, we are finishing up the in a sense yes yeah, the trilogy the, in and worked our way the father christmas around, yeah we finally around. get into it uh, and then we'll go from there um we do have a double decker of the week mm. very excited about this yeah. so these are people who support us sign up for brainwalljamplus.com that you can do as well and get all these shows completely ad free and uh pandy do the deep dive yeah i do you get yeah. on google plus and mm-hmm. you really look into their lives mm-hmm. their stories dan who do we have today elizabeth dolbin oh elizabeth, elizabeth. dolbin today uh, I was excited to see when I I just I just did a little boop, 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 just a quick one and just a little dip up, and Elizabeth Dolan came right on up and it, it was awesome to see has first a first page has a, first page wow. right on on Google My Business right there uh, had a has a store called uh, Two Can Play at that game Two okay. Can Play at that game Yep Okay and it's, and it's a great great little store doing a lot for the community really excited about what's happening So is this a store where it's all games that two people can play so it's two player games No it's a pet store brand uh two can uh they just have a group of them and so they're they're two, trained they're one trained. two can No they have multiple two cans Two can play at that game Yep So do you play with the two can Yeah two so can of chance all sorts of things two can very smart Two can Play right. at that game. He really can. It still doesn't make sense. Two, two, two can tiger play at that game. <laughs> oh, I tiger, don't know what you tiger, want, tiger can a, play a, at that game. Two can play is, at that game. Is the two cans name two can? Yes, it is. Two can play at that game. Two can Daryl play at that game. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a. It's not great. It's not a. It's, <laughs> but it can work. It does work. It does and work. I would suggest to you that two can is very smart. Is he it beat a, me at battleship? So it's one two. It's one two can name two can. Yep. That you go in, you book a time. Yeah, and he'll play any game with him. See, he 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 slipped and said there were multiple two cans. So there are multiple two cans. Just one. Well, they can't all play games of chance. The, so it, are they all named two can? <laughs> they they are all named two can. And depending on the game, you get the two can. Right, correct. So like, there's a two can who specializes in, in battleship. Chess. One in Monopoly. One in Uno. Is it all board or card games? Uh, you can play uh, you know, games of chance if you want to. You what keep about like games of chance? <laughs> games like of chance. All, all of Black the games. Jack. Board games are games of chance. Card games are, we've covered games yeah, No, of no, but I need you to understand. They're you not rigging saying, it, Dan. They're not rigging it. But you keep, they would not rig he these games. He's offering versions of games of chance, chance. and you keep going, <laughs> no, games of chance. Right. The, a roll the dice, Dan. Yahtzee, game, game of, chance. of chance. Everything he said was a game of chance. Uno, 
there's no rigging. <laughs> baseball, basketball. I just want to be no, abundantly no, no. clear Sports. because there's been some kerfuffle about if they're rigging the games. No one asked if they were rigging the games. <laughs> well, they're definitely not. The games of chance. What Damn. type of games? And, and they're games of chance. You can't rig chance. them. You can't rig these That's games. That's correct. Games of chance. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> just And just really quickly, um, do they play? Can they play Xbox? Oh, absolutely. If you want them to. It's, there's an upcharge. It's a game of skill. It's a game of skill. <laughs> Opposable thumbs, too. So, no. No, they could. A little beak. Okay. And you just don't even know. Okay. Also, you, brush up yeah. on some toucan knowledge. Brush up for on once. some toucan knowledge. Also, I did hear from, from Leonard, who went down there. Yeah. And I know that you keep pushing this game of chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to prove that you can't cheat. But he has this theory. He played Battleship. Okay. Yeah. Game of chance. Sure. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he said, you know, he lost. Yeah. He was very sad about that. I lost too, right. He turned around and he looked up and he saw... What he thinks is a camera. Oh, no. And I'm not here. Elizabeth is better than that. I'm, she not, wouldn't. I'm not here to say whether or not that camera is helping the two can cheat. He never missed, which that, does make me concerned. The house always wins. The, yeah. bir- the bird house always it's wins. It's a shame I bet as much as I did. Yeah, that's on you. Anytime a company emphasizes games of chance as much you as know that, that it's company did, yeah. you know something might be you shady. Think so? Do they I have don't card know. games? No, games of chance. <laughs> well, they just want to be. That's what you know. I will. Man. Yeah, they hit blackjack it. every time. You hate it. Elizabeth, let us know like what's yeah. going on there. Give for us real, the four one one there. I think she's on the up and up. I think so too. I'd like to think. I'd l- I hope I'd so. Love to think hey, so. scoot over just a little bit this way. Get Other your way. head on your head. Oh, hey. no! Now you're going. You're moving. And then we'll come yeah. this way, Dan. This isn't worth it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow until then. We the first wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast recorded live and yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina is produced by Brandon Gray, set decor by Plum Haywood Mall. For more information on all Bramble Jam podcasts, you can go to BrambleJamPodcast.com for more information on how to listen to Deck the Hallmark ad-free. You can go to BrambleJamPlus.com.